But you got a car on its way to the Buchanan residence. Good, keep me informed. I hope they get there in time. Me too. This may sound like a strange question. Are you sure that's Lawrence in that bed? <laughs> Absolutely. You see, each prisoner wears a tamper-proof ID. Now, well, we scanned his. That's Mitch Lawrence. What are you doing? I'm taking a better look. My God. That's one of my gods. Oh, what, what are you doing? Killing two birds with one bullet. That Jezebel's heart is still inside, Clint. Oh, I should have killed Stacy Marasco as soon as I discovered she betrayed me. She was supposed to be carrying my grandson, and instead she was having that homosexual's blighted spawn. And for that she must pay. The Lord has given me the opportunity to stop her heart from bleeding once and for all. No, 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 please. Please, please, don't, don't hurt him. He's my father, I love him, please. Oh, that's very touching, but I'm afraid it's meaningless. No, 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 please, 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 I'm begging you. I'm begging you, I will, I will do anything, I will do anything that you want, but just don't, don't kill him, please. Anything? Yes, anything, anything. Just don't kill him. Don't kill my father, please. Clint! Clint! Hey, Natalie. Where is she? He got her, John. Which Lawrence? He has Natalie. I'm fine, but the pastor got Natalie. Heed the messenger! I welcome you to the dawning of a new day, a new year! The Lord has set me free so that I may lead my flock to a new age. Where is my flock? Gone to the four winds. This church will take great work to be built. Which reminds me, I have a call to make. Clint, are you absolutely sure that Mitch has Natalie? I'm telling you, he got her. Mr. Buchanan. If I'm to get a correct reading of your blood pressure... Oh, to I hell with to... my blood pressure. Please let her do her job. I don't want to lose you. Vicky, we're not going to lose anybody. Let's just go into the study, Mr. Buchanan. All right, to shut you up, I'll go in the study, but you're pushing your luck. Thank you. Call me back. There's an APB out on Lawrence. Why don't you answer? It's Natalie. It's her son. Natalie? Hello, Victoria. How is Natalie? She's fine. Aren't you, Natalie? Put her on the phone. John McBain. Oh, it's been too long. Let me talk to Natalie. Well, oh, if you insist. Worth a war. Tell your boyfriend how you are, Natalie. John? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. How's Dad? He's fine. He's with a nurse right now. Church, we're to church, we're to church! Natalie, if I'm not mistaken, 
You, uh, are a forensics expert. Tell me, how much damage do you think this little pistol could do to your brain? Natalie? Oh my god, answer me, honey! Natalie, are you there? Mitch, you put Natalie back on! What, so she can tell you where we are? <laughs> you know me better than that, Victoria. Hey, Lawrence. Touch her and I'll kill you this time. The two of you, such little faith. Why, I'm a man of God. What do you want? Now, now, Lieutenant, this is my call, not yours. And, uh, by the way, there's no point in trying to trace this call. Because I disabled the GPS. But as long as you do what I told you, you'll get your girlfriend back. Lawrence, you know what I think? I think cowards take hostages because they can't get what they want any other way. I've never troubled myself with the means, Lieutenant. Just the ends. Look, I want my daughter back. Just tell us what you want. Well, you can have your daughter back, Victoria, as soon as I get mine. If you think that I'm going to give you Jessica, you have lost what little sense you ever had. An eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. A daughter for a daughter. I am not giving you Jessica. You have one hour. I'll call with my instructions. And, oh, Lieutenant, I know I need to tell you, but uh, no cops, no tricks. Do as I told you. And you'll get your girlfriend back. You are not getting Jessica! It's your choice, Victoria. Give me Jessica, or Natalie dies. If Mitch Lawrence thinks he can make a deal with my family, he's wrong. He's got Natalie. And he's not gonna get Jessica. He's a maniac, and we all know what he did to her. Well, nobody wants him to get Jessica. But the thing is, Clint, he said he was going to kill Natalie if we didn't make, meet his demands, so... Well, what are you going to do, turn over our other daughter? Of course not! We have to find another way to save Natalie. I'm the one that he wants. So I'm the one that he gets. John, make the arrangements. Call Mitch and tell him that I'm willing. No, you'll do no such Daddy thing. Daddy has Natalie. No, Jessica, it is much too risky. So we're just going to sacrifice my sister? No, of course we're not. I'm going to find another way. John will find out where they are and... Uh, look, he said it himself. The only reason he's got a hostage is because he's out of power and he has no option. Which makes him even more dangerous. Look, you know that I'm right. The only way to get to Mitch is through me. Just set a trap and use me as bait. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, Dad! It's not up to you. We can't lose Natalie. You know I don't want to lose her. Okay, then, but so... But your dad's right. We can't get you involved. You show up without me, and Natalie's dead. Okay? He will kill her right in front of you. Oh, my God. Look, just let him at least see me. We don't have a choice. We have to do this. I'm trying to say something here. Ah! Hey, come on, hold still, buddy. I want to help you. There you go. You think that you're a man of God? You've broken every commandment in the book. You lie, you steal, you murder, you rape. Shall I list your sin? Mine? They're nothing in comparison to a homicidal maniac. All for the greater good. All for the greater good. I will do whatever it takes to save my mission, including desecrating the commandments. Drop the act, Mitch. We both know that you would do whatever it takes to get what you want. You're right. I might even kill you. Don't you! Think you're gonna kill me? You really think you're gonna get away with that? I need your family to see how serious I am. You kill me now and you lose what little leverage you have. Why do you want Jessica? You want another shot at making an heir with your daughter? No, I want to make amends to her. Right! Not when she forgives me. My people will see that I've changed, and I will be able to rebuild my church. Jessica will never forgive you. None of us will. Well, that's interesting. Coming from you, Natalie. Let's see what the Bible has to say about that. Judge not, that ye be not judged. 
For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Jesse, I know you love your sister, but I'm not going to let you do this. Over 200 prisoners escaped from Statesville tonight. God knows how many Mitch has already recruited. Even with John there, you could be facing an army of his acolytes. Well, I trust John. John already said it's a no-go. Look, I have to do this. We don't have a choice. If these past couple weeks are going to mean anything, then I have to do this, okay? I didn't patch things up with Natalie to lose her now. But Natalie does not want you to sacrifice yourself for her. She would do it for me. Wouldn't she? Well, then I have to do this, okay? Because I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Natalie because I didn't do the, everything that I could. I never said I was perfect. Hardly. You slept with your sister's fiancé and then lied about carrying his baby. And yet, Jessica forgave you. Well, she's not going to forgive you. Are you sure? Hmm? I don't think you are. I think you're afraid she will forgive me. And we'll be reunited. <laughs> you know what? Number one, I am not crazy. And number two, I am not using her to prop up my so-called career as a man of God. She knows that all I want is for her to be happy. But you know what? If you want to prove to Jessica that you really changed, why don't you start by letting me go and turning yourself in? What? Am I boring you? Oh, no, no, no. You're endlessly entertaining, Natalie. Whenever the big hand reaches, wherever. I call you big boyfriend. Jesse, it's wonderful that you and Natalie have made up, but you have to think about your children. Well, what about Liam? Do you want your son to grow up without a mother? Nobody wants anything to happen to Natalie. I understand why you want to do this, but Jesse, you are much too fragile. No! You can't say that anymore. Honey, you've made a lot of progress, but Mitch preys on your vulnerabilities. You're right. He does, and I know how he operates, and I am not going to break this time. I need to do this. I need to do this to prove that I am not a victim, and you can't stop me. I think I can stop you. There's a police procedure. Okay, and it's going to fail if you don't at least let me make an appearance. He has to see me to know that we're not tricking him. Hello? You've had your hour. Do I get my daughter? It's my daughter. Client. Is that you? You're still with us? No thanks to you, you sick son of a bitch. Look, much as I'd love to catch up, I want my answer. Do I get my daughter?